college highlights of Ned Cox with the Evansville Aces. Welcome to the Ford Center and our Missouri Valley Conference Game of the Week from Evansville, Indiana. Kevin Lehman, Scott Warman, and our Tyron Niles media crew. Great to have you alongside. Right now, 6.55 in county here in the first half. And the Aces lead the visiting Salukis 22-18. Salukis back in the zone. Marty Simmons cracks a little bit against this at shoot around, expecting to see it. And Desmar in the first half, in the second half, or as he set him out in the first half for a couple minutes, and see Cox line that one up right in front of us. That was true all the way when that left his fingers, Scott. Cox, third free in the night for number 22, the senior from Texas. Well, he came in. Greg McDermott about his son when I get a chance to catch up with him because he always reminds me. Scott, remember when we talked right before Doug's first year and I told you that I was going to redshirt him? Shows you how much I know. <laughs> That's the fourth triple tonight by Ned Cox as he has all 12 of his points coming beyond the arc. Ryan on the cut. This being with a great recovery to take that jump shot away from Ryan. 12 on the shot clock here on this Aces possession. Up by 16. Ned. Cox can't miss a three. three. <laughs> when he pulled up for that one, I was going to say that is a bad shot with the defender hanging on him, but that was nothing but twine. Well, again, it's one of those things we talked about. It just, you can tell he's just got pure confidence right now in that shot. Taylor with 15 on the shot clock. And obviously Evansville with the lead. Very patient on this possession. Down to three. Cox on the drive at the buzzer. The Ned Cox is just having a phenomenal game for the Purple Aces. Wing, and they're going to give him two. Jay Godin, we were just talking about him. Had a triple-double a year ago. And then Taylor had that as Cox hits the shot. Evansville's teams always, Marty Simmons' teams, just tenacious defenders. Love the way they move without the basketball offense. They grind it. Taylor. The best way to put it, they grind you. It's a meat grinder. Long shot at the gun goes in for Cox. Uh, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Evansville takes the lead. And that one missed. Eki couldn't get it to go in. One bucket from the floor, two free throws in the first minute of the game. That's it for Colt Ryan. Jackie Carmichael, 10 and 10. How do the Aces respond? First, they'll have to do it defensively. Brown misses and Muscovicius with the rebound. You're Evansville, you've got to be a little bit more patient on the offensive end to try and get Colt Ryan some looks and get him off. And Evansville getting it going right away. Ned Cox. Passes one to Jones who misses. Ball is tipped in the air, saved by Taylor. Cox goes left baseline with a shot. That won't go, Jones is there. And a foul is called inside. Ball at zero, Casey Keen, that's his first foul. First team foul to have against the Red Roots. Frontier Communications in its first year as the presenting partner for the MVC Fan Hangout during Arch Madness. The MVC Fan Hangout located at the Sheraton St. Louis City Center. The perfect gathering place before and after your game. 
For additional information, visit archmadness.com slash fans. There's just nothing quite like Arch Madness. Evansville needs a bucket, down nine. Ryan trying to get position. Cox lost the handle. That one is knocked away, but they're going to whistle a foul underneath. They get Keen. Number two on Keen. Foul trouble right now for Illinois State. Johnny Hill has three. Keen now with two. For Evansville, keep an eye on Moscovichus who has three. Tom, we talk so much about Colt Ryan, but he's not the only senior that has played a lot of minutes for the last four years. Ned Cox has lifted up his game in the Valley, averaging, excuse me, has 25 assists and only nine turnovers in conference play. They have Ned Cox running point. Colt Ryan's on the floor, along with Ballantyne and Moore for Evansville. Here's Ned Cox, open three, knocks it down, Ned Cox, it's a one point game. Good recognition by Evansville, go to the hot hand, Ned Cox. And his unselfish play that leads to the basket. 22 points for Jackie Carmichael. Ryan throws one, Cox gets it, puts it up. Won't go for him, but he's fouled. Under a minute to go. Desperation time for Evansville. When Illinois State was struggling, they were settling for jump shots. But tonight, it has been Tyler Brown dribble penetration that has opened things up. Jackie Carmichael with the finish. A lot of people paying attention to Jackie Carmichael. Perhaps Tim Hardaway is taking some notes. The former NBA star I'm doing a little scouting for the Miami Heat. He's here. Well, if he's scouting them tonight, he likes what he sees. He'll have a nice report card to send back to <laughs> Miami. Seven point game. By the two stars for Illinois State, they needed them badly tonight. Seven point lead. Desperation time, Ballantyne misses a three. Cox will drive it in, settle for a two and hit. And comes up Gimpy on his ankle. Welcome to Sanity Showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. As part of Rivalry Week presented by Wendy's, it's a Missouri Valley Conference showdown between the Creighton Blue Jays and the Evansville Purple Aces. Two of the Valley's best all-time players meet this afternoon in Evansville. Colt Ryan for the Purple Aces already at 2,000 career points with the ball now. And Doug McDermott, a National Player of the Year candidate. And Ned Cox starts the game with a three for the Purple Aces. And Greg McDermott, look at all those guys he's got at the scores table. He needs a stoppage in play. And Chapman's been aggressive, but has come up empty the last two possessions. Cox nailed it. Back to an 11-point lead for Evansville. And Creighton calls timeout. Turnovers again an issue for the Blue Jays of Creighton. When Evansville will make you get down in the stance and play long defensive possessions against a lot of screens. Cox again. Ned Cox sizzling. Nevin Johnson missing. Biggest lead of the game for Evansville. How the ball reverses quickly out of their 94 foot offense. They constantly make you be in a stance and play defense. They constantly make you get through over screens. Gibbs lost track of the ball. Had a chance at a steal. 
Nelson next game. Jordan Nelson, it gets one point per game. But this is where Creighton needs to make the stand. This is where they've got to defend. And a foul on Maniga, but the Blue Jays have fouls to give. That is just the second team foul on Creighton in the half. 3.57 to go in the half. Evansville holding all four aces. So Creighton really competing on the defensive end right now. And there's your guy, Troy Taylor, averaging nine rebounds a game in Valley play. He's six feet tall. The best rebounder, pound for pound, inch for inch in the country. It'll be interesting to see now the adjustment. And there's one right there. They're getting that Cox more in the flow. If they're denying Colt Ryan, somebody else has to be open. Ned Cox is your best option. You mentioned Colt Ryan with the catch and shoot ability coming off the screen. Ned Cox isn't bad. That's how they teach it here at Evansville. Marty Simmons, one of the best in the country at teaching how to read screens, come off the of screens, ready to shoot. Chapman out of control. Ned Cox out of control, but a foul on Creighton. Taylor hit that shot twice today. Pointer Ned Cox has 14 points. Four threes for the senior from San Antonio, Texas. Chapman had a chance at the goal off the high ball screen, but yielded to Rogers, missed two threes in a row. Dignan matched up with Colt Ryan. But for Evansville to win, Colt Ryan has to score. <laughs> off of Rogers. The kid at Yale off that team, a baseball pitcher here at Evansville. Played basketball on that Ames High team. And Boo Boo Paulo, also a guard at Iowa State. But now he's not only made history in high school, he's making history in the Missouri Valley Conference. Cox just wheels around. Grant Gibbs. Well, and here's where Evansville now needs to make their stand. Miscavige is back in the game, so you've got to help defender inside that can help out with McDermott in the paint. Wing muscling up on Doug McDermott. Boy, just a total sellout double team up by Colt Ryan. They are daring Evansville to throw the ball to Miscavige in the paint. He's smart. Menegal matched up with Colt Ryan, number 12 versus number 11. Cox fouled by Gibbs. This will be two shots for Ned Cox. Mississippi State and LSU coming up next as Valley alum Rick Ray, former assistant at Indiana State. In fact, one of his assistants is Chris Hollander, who was on this staff with Marty Simmons and also played here. That comes up next, but we got a lot to determine before that. Cox is 82% at the line for the year. And 
In fact, Evansville in Valley games alone leads the conference in shooting free throws. Saves the possession. No rim was touched. No shot clock reset. Well, Miskovich just changes the game. He's a big guy. Get his hands on the basketball. A three would get Evansville the lead. This would be it. Valentine. Air ball. On January the 16th. Focus on number 11 in orange. Colt Ryan. Watch him move without the basketball. Watch him use screens. The Ned Cox can score two. One of those seniors that I mentioned. Drake in a hurry. Good hands for Evansville and Cox. Able to go coast to coast. That's what I like best about the Ned, Ned Cox 94 foot game. He attacks the basket. Wow, this would be news if he hits this. Clark is four of eight, but his last make from three was November 25th. Guess who got the rebounder? The best rebounder, pound for pound, an inch for inch in America, and then gets an assist to Ned Cox. Well, 16 seconds on the shot clock. Here's where you got to recognize your best player, especially when you're down eight. You've got to get Colt Ryan, number 11, a touch. You mentioned the offensive efficiency of Simons. It's even more impressive when he's been guarding Colt Ryan most of the night. Cox, speaking of recognition, they lost him. You find your second best score. Marty Simmons basketball, out of bounds play for the score. Well executed. Two possessions, two shots from Colt Ryan. Might post up low. Different defender on him this time. He saw Chris Hines on him. Ten takeaways for the Purple Aces. Led to ten points. Kept him in the game. Cox, the angle. A nice little mid-range game. Doesn't always settle for the three steps inside. Gets within his range. As hard as they're hedging on that screen. Okay, a little spin dribble coming handy for Colt Ryan again. Curls, scores. Evansville, Cox, nails it at three, ties it. Defenders right now so focused on Colt Ryan. It's given guys like Ned Cox wide open looks. Three. Nailed by Gary Rich Jr. Remember that volume of three-point shooters that Mark Phelps has in his hip pocket. Man, that can be effective coming down the stretch. Jones, toe on the line. Lewis Jones, six. All in the second half. Contacting throughout the year. There's a time they went through a down spell and he's his former players stay involved. When you get that in a program, what does that do for you for your present and your future? Hopefully it elevates the last 203 of this game and you rise up and figure out a way to stay undefeated at home in the Missouri Valley. Oh! Scavages. Cox elevates. He'll have free throws. That's his third personal. The team's eight. 
Ned Cox. He's one of those glue guys. And, you know, we always look for Colt Ryan coming down the stretch to get touches, attack the basket. But Ned Cox is another guy that needs to score in these types of situations. He's a leader. He can do it. In late games, he is tough. He had a huge three mark with 30 seconds to go to force an overtime against Northern Iowa here. He is 81% for the year at the line. That's his first foul shot of the night for his 17th point. He was actually better last year. He's 88% his junior year. It's a great group of seniors from Marty Simmons. It'll be a weepy senior night here coming up in a couple weeks. Marty Simmons just talked to Troy Taylor and to Ryan, Colt Ryan. Well, they got a good look for Ryan on the last possession. The handoff. 23 for Ryan, tied at 66. Stay with the same recipe offensively. Cox, 22. Colt Ryan, number 11. Foul on Drake number two, Gary Ricks Jr. That's his first personal. The team's ninth. Nine team fouls as Gary Ricks picks up his first foul. Ned Cox. And Ned Cox is going to the line with one on one to start the overtime. Ned Cox, not only a fine basketball player, but also a triple major in finance, management, and marketing. In Evansville, of course, an outstanding academic reputation. One of the smallest enrollments for a Division I school. Just a little over 2,000. Ned Cox, a new season high, Mark. He's got 20. 